Work is now underway to prepare for the Rideau Canal Skateway season, and there are hopes it will be a better year than last year. Tonight, in a CTV News exclusive, we're learning last season the NCC lowered its own ice standards in a desperate bid to open part of the skateway during the warmer weather. CTV's Natalie Van Roy joins us live in studio with the details. Natalie. Well, Patricia, it's been a rough few years for the canal, simply too warm to make good ice. And CTV News obtained internal documents through an access to information request to find out what happened behind the scenes during the short-lived skating season last winter. More than a thousand pages revealing the National Capital Commission softened its stance on how thick the ice needs to be. Preparing for another skating season on the Rideau Canal. A crane lowering the huts into place. I don't believe I was able to get out at all last year, but I hope that it's open for longer. It'll be really nice to get out this year. It's been a struggle to open the world's largest rink in recent years. There were just 10 skating days last winter. The second shortest season on record after it didn't open at all during the 2022 2023 season. I was surprised, although I guess I shouldn't be nowadays with the uh, temperature fluctuations and so on. But I was surprised, to be honest. Internal documents obtained by CTV News revealing the National Capital Commission struggled to maintain the ice. On February 16th, the NCC proposed a 10% reduction in the required ice thickness, calling it a manageable risk to be able to open the canal again to skaters for a few more days. It meant the ice thickness was 27 centimeters instead of 30. They were very cautious before, and 10% uh, isn't too much. I think everybody would perhaps get out a few more times. And that would be good. Measures were put in place to keep crowns dispersed and heavy vehicles off the surface. But the quality of the ice was poor. A photo of samples shows thick layers of white ice, which creates a rough surface. Well, that's interesting because I didn't really know about that. Obviously, you want it a little thicker if there's going to be a lot more people on it, right? So uh, I really don't know. I think they know what they're doing. The NCC declined an on-camera interview but said the ice was strong enough to support visitors safely. I think that's great. I think if they've done the work to find out if that's uh, appropriate, then, then we can trust them. And it would be awesome to see it open more frequently. The internal documents did show that the NCC recommended against going any thinner than 27 centimeters, but it's not clear if this standard will be used in the skating season or others in the future. Patricia. Here's hoping we get a bunch of good, safe skating days this year. Now.